what I got. Okay, well, I didn't think I was going to buy another Mi One phone so quickly, but um, for reasons that I will get into. Um, but I saw this on uh, 360 suit and along with the uh, shipping was about 400 and something reals and I liked the look of it so I said Raymond buy it and actually um, it's not a bad looking for with some caveats so let's get into it this is the hero me one hero one and of course if we look at it here it looks like, or it's taken its design reference from the, I believe it's the Galaxy Note 8. Um, so spec wise, uh, what can I say about Mi 1? I don't understand it all. I mean, somebody needs to explain it to me because I really do not understand. Um, so on the, when I bought it, it was 32 GB with 3 GB of RAM, 4 G LTE, um, I think 13 MP and 8 MP cameras with um, a 1.3 uh, uh, MTK quad core processor. So I, um, when I opened it up, oh, and it has, um, I think it's 5.8 inch screen, Try not to get the reflection there. The 5.8 inch uh, screen, and it's this 18.9 aspect ratio, which is nice. Okay, the screen is 1440. So, um, the uh, the apps that I've been using to try and get, get the spec out of it 1440 by 7 something. So, it's HD, but it's actually a really nice screen. The phone itself is actually really pretty nice. Okay, I didn't like the gold color, but that was the only color I could find. Um, unfortunately, uh, let's see what this says. Yeah, yeah, I'm just checking the uh, storage here because um, it was 32 GB. Anyway, I did, um, uh, <coughs> I looked around and actually I wish I'd found this app before. So, okay, so when I uh, um, started using it, um, I just felt that there was no way that it had the uh, 3GB of RAM. And going by the other Mi 1 phones, we know that they were just lying about the specs, which is a real shame because ultimately they're not going to sell phones because if anybody from Mi 1 is watching here, um, you know, people are looking, thousands of people are looking at these videos I've made for your phones and everybody will hear that you're lying about the specs on the phones. Who's going to buy it? I just don't understand the rationale. You know, okay, if you don't want to put 3 GB of RAM, put 2 GB of RAM. Or advertise it um, with uh, 1 GB of RAM. So, anyway, I was going to try, um, I thought I would try a different, um, what do you call it, a different uh, benchmark. Uh, just to, uh, let's just, you know, just to see. So I used uh, Geekbench here. Um, and it identified everything uh, pretty decent and it was uh, Android 7 which I forgot to mention the uh, uh, so Mali 400 these are all the same as spec as the as the other phones uh, the 1.3 uh, so let's just see history here if it will tell me um, I ran the, uh, it doesn't say, I can't see it, but anyway, I ran, um, Geekbench and it was something like 790, the score, so really pretty low. It feels like it'd be around 19, 20,000 on the Antutu, it just feels that, and when you start using these Chinese phones, you kind of get a feel for what the scores are going to be, um, uh, and you, it just doesn't feel as fluid as a phone that has a bit more RAM. Which is a real shame because it's actually really pretty nice. You can see here, I mean, the build quality I think is pretty decent. This is all metal, a little wee bit heavy, but kind of gives it a bit of feel of quality. Uh, all metal around here. I'm not sure, this is probably some kind of plastic here. Um, SIM card, uh, so it's a hybrid SIM card, so either two SIM cards, one SIM card, and a memory card. Uh, USB C, which is nice. 
a headphone jack, etc., etc. So anyway, when I was fiddling around with it, I'm looking at some uh, of these ID identify identifying ID apps, whatever you want to call them, to see if I could find out what it's saying. So here it's saying it's a quad core um, 1.3 MT6580 WP. Um, this is on CPUX. Uh, this one 1440 by 720. Um, let's just see what it says here. It's saying OS is seven version seven, which is Nougat, but calling it here Marshmallow. And I noticed that with the other phones. And here it's IDing three GB of RAM with four hundred and forty three uh, megabytes available, which kind of seems suspicious. Um, three internal storage, thirty point five. Now I'm not even sure if the storage is genuine. I'm assuming it is, but um, so. I looked on the App Store and I found uh, this app, it's called Ram Truth, and this ID'd what I suspected. I wish I'd actually found this app before. I did look for something, but I never saw this app. I'm not sure if it's new or not, but anyway, it IDs that this phone is only 1 GB when it's advertised and sold as 3 GB of RAM. So, me one, um, you know, none of your phones are ever going to be successful. Um, because you cannot tell the truth about the specs and it's a real shame because compared to the build quality um, uh, compared to uh, sorry about that the build quality compared to a lot of other phones is really pretty decent and they you know they include some extras in the box which is the same as the last me one phones um, and you know you get this and I'll put this on a uh, smart cover and uh, <coughs> uh, you, you get a ring holder, earphones, etc. And screensaver was already applied because I'm sure it doesn't have any of this, um, uh, you know, the protective glass at corner or something like that. Um, uh, so camera wise as well, I'm, I'm just, it feels like it's a pretty uh, crappy uh, calendar, uh, calendar, camera, sorry. Um, I actually think that the front facing camera took better photos than the rear so look it is it is you know mediocre and the front facing one I thought the selfie one took a, a decent photo and I'm not going to show you it because it's of me I do not want to frighten you um, it is indeed running uh, Nougat I did check that um, and also um, what was the other thing I wanted? CPU Z I ran as well to see what it said. But the CPU Z, if I can remember, was again was, yep. C C CPU Z is saying total RAM available three GB. Total RAM, sorry, is three GB. Available RAM is three hundred ninety-seven. So I mean, there's something suspicious there. What is it using over two and a half GB of RAM? I don't think so. Uh, so, again, uh, anybody watching this video, this is a nice phone, but. The specs are the company are lying about the specs which is a real shame because you know me one must take us all for idiots and maybe i'm an idiot for buying the phones um but uh this is what they think about their customers unfortunately um now as i said i got this one from 360 souk i have uh, online i have no affiliation whatsoever with the 360 souk but you know, they do sell a variety of relatively unknown brands <coughs> at decent prices. So, you know, it's usually between Souk, 360 Souk, King Souk, Amazon, eBay, where I purchase my stuff. Um, and nobody gives me any money. I have to purchase it with my own money myself. Um, what else can I tell you about this? I want to put the uh, thing back. It's got a nice cover, actually. Um, well, if it wasn't gold, if it was something else, let me try and snap this in without breaking it. You know, so it goes that uh, you'll see here when you put the cover on. I like that. I know I'm easy to, uh, I'm an easy person to please. Also, when you make a phone call, uh, let's see. I don't think it's going to let me make a phone call, but um, let's see if I can do it here. When you try to make a phone call, let me see if it's going to work. Yeah, see that's nice, eh? Um, uh, so I like that. Yep, 
Um, I, I like that. Now it does come with a stylus here, uh, which looks quite nice. I'm just not sure that it's of any use, as this is only a copy of a note. Um, one thing I didn't try, and I will try it now, is uh, not bad. It's metal. Uh, yep, that is metal, folks. So I don't really know what that is. Huh? So yeah, this is metal. I think this just is like, it, um, really doesn't do anything at all. It's metal, so even if it wasn't metal and it was plastic, it was really going to not do a lot, um, as this is, uh, you know, not a note, as they say. So, um, what else do you want me to say about it? Okay, call quality was as good as the other ones. And, you know, look, all these Mi 1 phones, I'm going to just talk about Mi 1 for a minute. All the Mi 1 phones that I reviewed, they were all pretty decent. The screens were decent. Um, the, the design was decent. Build quality, I thought, was really pretty good compared to some others. But I think all of them, you know, they were either they had... Instead of 3G or 4GB of RAM, they had the half the amount of RAM, and some of them may have only had 1GB. I wish I'd found this app. Um, and this one is no different. It's actually a, a really nice looking um, phone, and uh, it, 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 it will just be really held back with 1GB of RAM, um, which is, a, I just summed it, me one, explain it explain it how you would produce and lie and it's so easy to find out that you're lying about something and uh, then you won't sell who's going to buy it um, and you know I really hope thousands of people watch this video and then they will um, make a, an informed decision that if they want to, to have a phone that I mean that does look really good um, and you fancy that kind of uh, note style -y, um, and you're prepared to um, suffer the, uh, you, you know, that using it will be relatively slow affair. And then for the price and the build quality, I still think it's worth considering. Okay. But um, if you're looking for something faster, you're looking for something to play some games, uh, really, you're just going to have to stay away from this until they start producing phones that are genuinely specced. Uh, because I just couldn't recommend it other than for people who are happy to be stuck with a phone that's going to be relatively slow, but it uh, looks good. So, me one, come on. You know, th there's so many other companies that are producing phones that are, are that have uh, the, uh, are genuinely specced. So, please, don't, you know, don't make us look like idiots. Don't make me look like an idiot. Um... Because I look like an idiot most times anyway without your phone, so please do something about it. Me one, come on. Uh, what else can I tell you about this? Um, I don't have my internet um, for some reason today, uh, but I did watch uh, my own video on YouTube. It was fine. Playback actually was fine. Uh, this would be, uh, look, with, even with the 1GB of RAM, you could put Kodi on this, get your VLC on this, get your... Um, uh, you know your movies and uh, uh, your your music and it would actually be a pretty decent uh, traveling media center because that screen is big it's nice it's relatively bright and I think it's let me see I think it's on two-thirds brightness yeah so this one's on about two-thirds brightness um, and it, you could use this could really be your your traveling uh, media center so I mean uh, Again, for the price, I think that is, you know, it's it's worth it if you again sacrifice the performance. Um, while I was looking at this, okay, so in the settings, I noticed uh, they've got a lot of um, settings. Now, what did I notice that I didn't understand? And I was going to look at the uh, instructions, but I'm too lazy. Telekinetic gestures. I don't know if one can see it here. Telekinetic gestures. Um, I don't know what the heck that is. That's on, but telekinesis, uh, isn't that when you can make things move with your mind? Okay, I'm trying to make this have more RAM with my mind. It's not working. Um, of course, it has these um, 
let's see if this works. Uh, the smart jet, smart wakening gesture. So let me see. I didn't, I didn't even try it. So. That doesn't seem to be working. That's meant to be the camera. Um, where is the thing? Where's the tang? Um, draw M. Okay, let me try this. M. Maybe it's me. No, that doesn't seem to be working either. And which is unusual because mostly in these, or it could be me, but mostly in these um, cheap phones, that uh, does work, so I'm not sure. Now, it does have a fingerprint scanner. Oh, yeah, so that'll get me onto this. It does have a fingerprint scanner here. I, I didn't scan my fingerprint uh, into it because uh, even if I was to keep this phone, which I won't be, um, I, uh, this is just a very awkward place to keep the fingerprint scanner. The best fingerprint scanner I've ever seen uh, is on the Sony, which uh, is on this side here very easy to use so anyway it has fingerprint scanner as you can see here it is uh has dual lenses but one of them i think is definitely fake because if you cover it up when you turn the camera on you will see so one of them is is definitely not um genuine at all now um if you show here uh when you go to scroll to this page it says that it is it has bixby and if you run start uh it it will open uh, Google, so um, it's just not Bixby. But Google is actually work well. I'm, I know I don't have my internet at the moment, but when I did try it, it worked uh, pretty good, and it recognised my beautiful Scottish accent, and all the words were uh, fine. Um, music, I put on the. I don't even have my. Um, headphones in and my jaybirds because I have something else which I'll be reviewing soon uh, I tried the RHA um, and it sounded look it sounded fine it wasn't um, overly loud and a wee bit muffled but you could fiddle around with the EQ it would be more than enough again for the price this could be a decent enough um, travel phone uh, is you know again traveling with put some of your uh, media onto it and when you're on the old uh, plane or whatever you whatever you're doing this could be your uh, travel buddy for uh, your listening to your music or watching your uh, movies or TV or something like that and if you lost it then of course uh, you wouldn't feel too bad because it's not a note 8 and it only costs you 400 reals. So again, that could be something um, that people are interested in. Uh, but not for the camera, if you're traveling, because really you're going to get very mediocre um, specs. I reckon it's maybe 8 and 5, uh, the megapixels, but I, I'm not sure. It's, it, the, the, um, they recognize it as saying it's 13, but I don't know. Um, but it doesn't look that great. Uh, it looks just par for the course for uh, me one um, cameras okay for the occasional snaps but as I said the selfie was uh, decent comes in a nice enough box with uh, the accessories um, and really that's about it uh, so a good looking um, phone with it's obviously a copy of the Note 8 but it's still good looking the screen I think is nice I like this uh, aspect ratio. It, the build quality, albeit a wee bit heavy, is is really good. Just a shame that they have to lie to us about the RAM. Um, I'm hoping it's 32 GB of um, storage. If anybody has um, an idea how I can check that, please let me know if you can check it's genuine because all the apps I've, um, that I've used say that it is. Um, I'm hoping that it is, but if anybody has something that is like um, an internal memory checker app, please let me know. That is um, my review of the Mi One Hero One. Um, anybody got a question, uh, anything, just put it below. I will do my best. And uh, uh, what can I say? Mi One, Apple will buy Mi One again, just to, because they'll probably produce... Um, Another phone that looks something like some of the new 
uh, flagship phones that are um, that were recently announced. So they'll probably buy it. They'll probably um, build and release some of these, um, and I'll probably buy again because people seem to be interested in these, um, and for me to review them. So I probably will buy again. But just be aware that they're lying about their specs. Check here first. Okay, that's me. Thank you. Bye.